Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to create 8 cards using products from the latest release by my favorite things. So I'm going to start with this uh, uh, die set which is called Stitched Blooms. This is a beautiful, really beautiful uh, die set to have because you can create your very own flower compositions and uh, as we all know flowers are perfect for pretty much any occasion on a card. So I have cut out all my flowers and my leaves out of white cardstock and now I'm using this uh, specialty panel. This is actually satin cardstock by Tonic Studios, you will find it linked down below. And uh, I'm going to create my flowers. As you can see I haven't colored anything, I just cut out the centers from the same cardstock as my panel. I'm going to stick uh, with uh, white glue the centers on uh, my three flowers. And I'm going to add some foam squares at the back of uh, the flowers to pop them on my card. And I'm going to create my composition. For my leaves I used white glue and I'm just tucking them under the flowers. And I also used my fingers to curl up the leaves a little bit to add more dimension. From the You Wow Me stamp set I used one of the sentiments that says uh, let's celebrate you. I wanted to keep this uh, quite uh, neutral so I can uh, use it for pretty much any occasion. And my card is finished, a uh, lovely shiny and really elegant. Now let's move on to the second card and for this one I'm using uh, the fireworks stamp set. So I'm going to stamp a few of those fireworks. This is a layering stamp set which means that I will have to stamp uh, twice to get the full firework. And I'm going to use embossing powder so I'm stamping everything with Versamark ink. For the first set of stamping I'm applying gold embossing powder. This is actually the Nouveau Classic Gold. After everything was melted, I placed the panel back to my platform and now I'm going to stamp the second layer of these uh, fireworks, again with Versamark ink. But this time I'm going to apply silver embossing powder, again this is a product by Nuvo and it's the, the classic silver. So I'm going for another elegant looking card with gold and silver on top of white. I'm going to melt my embossing powder. Now I'm going to stamp some of the lines that are included in the stamp set, like the trail of um, the firework, if I can say that. And uh, again I'm going to stamp uh, with Versamarking and some of them I'm going to uh, emboss them with silver embossing powder, while for others I'm going to use gold embossing powder. Now hopefully you can see how shiny this looks with gold and silver on top. And I have already stamped my sentiment, this comes from uh, You Wow Me stamp set and I'm going to stick down the word wow which I have cut out with the die that has just been released and I have cut out all those letters from uh, mirror gold uh, cardstock. So now I'm using the negative as a mask so that I can place everything nicely separated and uh, everything is going to look nice and neat. I'm going to stick this panel on top of uh, a gold mirrored cardstock. Again, this is the same cardstock that I used to cut out uh, the word WOW, so everything matches perfectly. As a finishing touch, I'm going to add some of those gold crystals in uh, different areas around my fireworks. I'm just sticking everything down with white glue and I'm using this um, wax pencil that I get asked a lot of what that is. This is actually a pencil which is really inexpensive and you can find it on Amazon and pretty much anywhere. They usually um, use this on nail art. So anyway, my card is finished and here are some close-up photos. Moving on to the third card, I'm using this rectangle die to cut out a frame and I'm also going to place inside the sun this is a new die by My Favorite Things, just been released and I absolutely love it. So I'm placing everything, I have run it through my Big Shot and you can see the result here. I am going for a shaker card, so I'm going to add some uh, white glue all around this plastic pouch. This is a pouch again by My Favorite Things that fits uh, perfectly inside that uh, window. And I have a, an area where I can place my shaker mix. 
I'm going to add some diamond confetti inside. This is by Nuvo and I'm using my Nuvo spoon tool. This is really handy. I find especially for um, shaker cards. I am going to add some white glue all around this panel now. Since I am planning to apply on top my card base. The card base is yellow that I have created from um, a yellow card token and it is a standard card size. Now this panel is slightly smaller but uh, since I am using uh, white glue I am going to place my card on top, turn it around and now I can move it slowly until it is nice and centered. Out of the same yellow cardstock I have cut out the word sunshine, I'm adding some white glue at the back and I'm going to stick that underneath my sun to be my sentiment. And to complete my sentiment I want to stamp hello so the whole sentiment reads hello sunshine. I'm using uh, this stamp set which is called full of sunshine and uh, one of the sentiments has the word hello. I'm going to mask off the rest of the sentiment so that I can use only one word. I'm going to stamp this with black so that it um, stands out against all that yellow and white. And my card is finished. I love it because it's such a bright and happy card but at the same time it was so easy to make. Now for the next card I'm using this uh, stitched peekaboo window, I think uh, that's the name of it, that uh, has been released uh, previously by my favorite things. I have cut it out with my uh, Big Shot and um, I don't know if you can tell from here but there is a lovely stitching around this window. Now I'm using uh, leaves and a couple of uh, ink pads to create my own pattern around this panel. The leaves I'm using come from the To Can Do It stamp set and you can see the inks that I used for the background on your screen right now. I actually used three different leaves and three different ink pads. And you can leave this as it is. If you want you can add smaller images in between those uh, leaves where you have uh, lots of white space. I decided to go with uh, Nouveau Drops on all these areas just to fill in my pattern paper a little bit more. I'm actually using two different colors of uh, Nuvo Crystal Drops. I tried to match the colors of the leaves, so I used Apple Green and uh, Woodland Green. Now I have stamped uh, one of uh, the birds from the Toucan Do It. This is a lovely toucan, really adorable, which I am going to color with my alcohol markers. And then I'm going to use the matching die and cut it out. Now I'm also making a little change on this design so that I can keep his um, chest white, just like Toucan's are. So I'm not going to color the front of him at all, I'm just going to leave it white. I used foam tape at the back of this panel. Uh, this is not going to be a shaker card, just a window card, so there is no acetate there. And now I'm going to place the Toucan and a couple of leaves that I have cut out using some foam squares to add dimension. Now notice that all the leaves have the same colors as the leaves that I have used to stamp my background. I have already stamped my sentiment that says to can do it in the same uh, uh, craft paper as my main card base. And I'm going to add some gloss on his peak. You can use glossy accents for that. I'm using uh, Nuvo Clear Drops. And uh, although it looks milky at the moment, it's going to dry completely clear and it's going to give a lovely shine on his beak and on his eye. For my next card I'm using the Adorned Ocean stamp set. I'm going to stamp three of the fish. And this is a layering stamp set which means that uh, I have a second layer for all those fish which is going to add a lovely detail on top of them. And I went with a green, an orange and a yellow fish. So since I'm going to end up having a blue background, I think these are colors are going to pop nicely on top of it. Now I'm applying Versamark ink on all the second layers of those fish and I'm going to stamp on top of it. So I end up having all three of them at once which is something that I could have done with the fish as well but I decided to go and stamp one at a time. Anyway, I'm going to apply white embossing powder 
and heat set it. And then I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out all the fish. Now there are so many different techniques to create a lovely underwater background but I decided to go super plain for this card and uh, all I did was just using a dark uh, blue colored cardstock. I'm just going to stamp at the bottom some of those corals and uh, I'm going to apply embossing powder. This is green embossing powder which is going to be nice and bright at the bottom of my ocean. I'm going to heat set it and I'm going to do just a little bit of inking on top of it with my Distress Oxide inks. Oxide inks uh, uh, blend beautifully on top of dark cardstock and you will see how nicely it's going to turn out. So I'm just uh, starting with the darkest color. I'm going to move on to the second color. And the colors I'm using here are actually Faded Jeans, which is the darkest one. My middle one is Salty Ocean and I will go all the way to the lightest one which is uh, this one I believe it was tumbled glass but you will see that tumbled glass didn't um, go as bright as I wanted to on top of this cardstock and actually salty ocean is brighter than this so I will just uh, forget about this color and move on to the middle color and um, now my ocean looks as if it is lighter at the top and darker at the bottom I'm using a paper towel to remove all the excess on top of my grass since embossing powder resists distress oxide ink and my background is ready, nice and simple. I'm going to stick my fish on top, just playing around, decide where everything is going to go and I'm going to pop them up with foam squares. To make it just a little bit more playful, I'm going to add a dot of glue on their eyes and I'm going to use these tiny little uh, googly eyes and just stick them on top. I'm going to stick this on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to stick my sentiment that I have already made. This is just um, an embossed sentiment that says birthday fishes on top of black cardstock and my card is ready. Now let's make a really fun card, probably one of my favorites from this set. This is a stamp set that's called Gill Friends and I love that it has tiny little fish as well as little corals, seagrass and many more. I'm going to pick up a few of those and stamp them. I am going to stamp them with uh, black ink and color everything with my alcohol markers. And then I'm going to use my matching dies to cut out everything. Now I'm going to play with these fun products to create an aquarium. So I'm going to cut out a window using this rectangle from the aquarium die set. And I'm also going to use uh, these three dies that cut out three panels out of craft cardstock. Now I am going to add some uh, double sided tape around my pouch. Probably you can't see what I'm doing there, but I have a rectangle pouch that has been released by my favorite things that fits perfectly inside that window. So you see in one of my shaker cards I used uh, white glue and in this one I used double sided tape, anything works really, since they fit nicely inside those uh, windows. Now I have a place where I am going to add all my fish and other aquarium elements, but uh, first I'm going to add um, these panels on top and at the bottom of my window which is going to turn it looking as an aquarium. Now I have a rectangle that is uh, going to fit nicely at the back of my aquarium and I'm going to create my background for that. I have masked off the bottom because I am planning to add my sand there. So first I'm going to ink up uh, the top to look as if it is water. Just using Distress Oxide ink there. Now I'm splashing some water here that you can't see and I'm going to dab it off with a paper towel. I'm going to remove my masking and now I'm going to place the masking at the top so that I have this um, bottom area where I can add my 
Versamarking and then I'm going to apply some uh, embossing powder. The embossing powder that I'm using comes from a Stampendo set that is perfect for creating beach themed cards. It's called Golden Sand and you will find links down below. Now I'm going to use uh, the um, Salty Ocean ink pad and I'm going to stamp some of the grass from the same stamp set to have a kind of a background for my aquarium. So this is going to look as if it is far at the background and then when I stick uh, my other elements on top they are going to look as if they are at the front. So I give a little bit of depth on my composition. I will check with my window to make sure that everything is going to fit nicely since the panel that I'm working on at the time is slightly larger than the window opening that I have there. And finally it's time to put all my fish and other elements on my aquarium so I'm going to stick everything down with uh, foam squares. This is not going to be a shaker card, everything is going to be stuck inside my aquarium but of course you can add uh, elements to go up and down inside if you like that will look like bubbles. I absolutely love the idea of creating an aquarium and I was so in love the first time I saw this uh, release with that. Now I am uh, putting everything down, uh, everything is ready to stick my panel on top. But before I put uh, these fish in my aquarium, I'm going to stick down some of those little bubbles. These uh, are going to look as uh, air bubbles inside my aquarium and I'm trying to use the tiniest ones. So again, these are not going to be shaker elements since they are stuck on top. So here I have put everything together. Now I'm sticking this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And my card is ready. All I have to do is to stamp the sentiment and I went with uh, a simple sentiment that says thank you. I think that's adorable and completes the card perfectly. And hopefully you can see here all the dimensions that I got inside my aquarium. I absolutely love this card. Now for the next card I'm going to use the stencil that creates the waves and I'm uh, moving the stencil towards the bottom slowly and every time I'm using uh, my blending tool to add my C. I am going to use uh, three different colors of Distress Oxide inks and as I move my stencil towards the bottom I will go ahead and use a darker shade of blue. Now I have to apologize because I didn't realize that my camera was completely out of focus. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I do realize it at some point before finishing this card so it's going to back to normal again. But I'm not going to delete this uh, part of the video just because I want you to see the whole process of creating this beautiful background. Now just because it is quite blur, you can't see, but at the top of uh, this um, C background I used actually the stencil and I penciled down a line of uh, the edge of this stencil. So I will use this line later on to cut out the top with my scissors, you will see in a bit. Now I'm cleaning my stencil, making sure that I don't have any excess ink there and now I'm going to use my heat gun to make sure that all this ink is nice and dry because I'm going to do some embossing on top. So now I'm going to follow that line that I have penciled down, which you can't see because it is quite blurry, obviously, but I am following this line with my Versamark uh, marker. This is going to add a little bit of stickiness along this line and I'm going to apply on top chunky white embossing powder and just because this is chunky embossing powder you need to heat set it from underneath otherwise it's going to fly all over the place. Now I am going to repeat the same process for some waves here and there, not all over the place. I'm going to apply again chunky embossing powder and heat set everything. And finally I'm going to use my scissors and cut out all around the edge of the first top wave. I used foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick that on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I stamped the pelican from the beach bud stamp set and now I'm going to color it. Not much coloring needed here, just some shading around my pelican since he is white and I'm just going to color his uh, big 
big with orange and I think he's holding a little octopus inside which I'm going to go with purple. I'm actually working on Bristol paper and using my Zig Clear color markers to color everything and I have already stamped my sentiment on my card that says I would cross the ocean for you. I used the matching dye to cut out my pelican using some foam squares at the back and I'm going to tuck him underneath the wave. And I'm going to finish off my card by adding some blue gems all around my sea. For the last card I'm going to play with uh, one of the stencils that has been released. I am going to apply some uh, glimmer paste over it. This is the Geometric Stars stencil and uh, at the beginning I was thinking of creating an ombre looked card where I would start from, uh, from darker, go all the way to white glimmer paste but uh, finally I decided to use just this panel that I am uh, creating here. So I'm going to uh, lift off uh, the stencil, let this dry and then I'm just going to cut out a little panel out of it. And the gorgeous color of uh, shimmer paste that I am using is sapphire blue. So I have my panel here, nice and shiny. I'm going to add some uh, tape adhesive at the back. And I'm going to embellish it a little bit with a thin stripe of uh, silver cardstock. This is mirror cardstock, really shiny and it is a product by Tonic Studios. I'm going to add foam tape at the back of this panel and stick it on top of my card base and as you can see I have already cut out the word hello out of the same silver cardstock that I have cut out that thin strip of paper. I have white glue at the back of my sentiment and I'm just going to stick it on top Going for a clean and simple looking card now and I'm going to embellish uh, my panel a little bit more by adding some uh, crystals. These are uh, silver crystals and I'm just going to add one of them inside uh, different shapes of my stenciled area. And this completes the last card for today. Here are some close-up photos where you can hopefully see the shine and the beautiful design of the stencil. Now let's take a quick look on all the 8 cards that I made for today using products from the latest release by my favorite things. I hope you had fun, I hope you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of those 8 cards was your favorite. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, here are some close-up photos of all the cards that I made. Now you will find the full list of all the products that I used below the video as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope you all have a lovely day.